insieme per la vittoria! Vittoria agli assassini! Oh, I like that you get to see Claudia fight. Same. <clears throat> I don't think we even need these people, though. Well, I might as well do this so that, like, Big Mac doesn't get killed. Right, that makes sense. Call in one of your assassins. Like, we're at the end of the game, we should at least let him do something. Okay. I feel like it's cool to use those since they're part of our brotherhood. I call in two assassins. Nice. Or actually, three assassins. Four! Four assassins came, nice. See, this <clears throat> is our army we built up. Whoa, they're all women, what? Whoa, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Nice! Uh oh, well. Summon in our brothel here, nice. Alright. I like how you can just, like, have a whole army of harems. Yeah, I mean, that's how it should be done. I agree. Um, oh, oh, jeez. Why does this guy have, like, a speech, even though he's the one who's poisoned? <laughs> it's like, don't waste your breath. But then, on the top, the blood, the top, the dude. Wait, did Michelangelo go down? Wait, what? Or Mac? Mac, Mac went down. Mac Miller, get up. Mac Miller's not getting up. <laughs> Ariana will take care of the dog and sympathy tweet about it once a year, so it's all right. <laughs> oh no, I cared so much. It was such a tragedy. Oh, Wait, no. wasn't one of the reasons that he ended up so messed up because he wanted to marry you and you, like everyone who wants to marry you, cut him off? What? 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 I don't know. Anyway, let me tweet about it. I don't know. I love this dog. Throw down your arms, Cesare Borgia. Piccoletto's troops mass behind me. We will take back my city once and for all. This is not your city anymore. By order of Pope Julius II, I arrest you, Cesare Borgia, for the crimes of murder, betrayal, and incest. No! 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 This is not how it ends! Chains will not hold me! I will not die by the hands of man! It was the manner in which he said it. Chains will not hold me. If you are so worried, there is a way to find out. No, it is too powerful. It must be hidden outside the domain of men. What a shame. Hiding a masterpiece where no one will ever see it. And yet... What if he meant what he said? I cannot risk it. Cesare was right. I have to leave. What about your friends? I built this brotherhood to last. With or without me. What do you intend to do? Plant a seed. Here, a gift. If this is goodbye... Then keep your money. I do not want it. We will see each other again. You have my word. Buona fortuna, my oldest friend. And take the money. On your meager salary. You will need it. My patron has been arrested, after all. I just wish he was more prevalent in Revelation. Me too. Actually, I don't think he's in Revelation at all, is he? Why does the Leonardo da Vinci thing come up now? I don't know. Huh. Uh, is he in Revelation? I no. don't remember, actually. No, he's not. He's not? Okay. No, it was it only eight sequences? No, it's nine. It's nine, okay. Yeah, so there's one more. New items unlocked at art shops. New contract assignments unlocked. That's exactly what we need, more more side missions to unlock. <laughs> there weren't enough of them. Oh, man, what's going on here? Whoa. Oh, wait, I think this, this one is really short. I think it's just the final battle. Oh, okay. How did you find me? They have a new store from Mario Auditore, let me hear. Kill him! Kill the assassin! Tear the maldito bastardo to pieces! I don't Because really... he got captured. Whoa. What was that? Me being like ultra S tier Sigma? We have like Giga Chad Ezio here. I don't understand how he broke out, actually, now that you mention it. Yeah, because he had a whole army, like, gonna gangbang him, and then now all of a sudden he's fine. 
okay, they're feeling him them a little too long there. <laughs> like, oh, what man, is I that? wonder if there's anything here. Well, maybe they put it in their ass. I don't know. <laughs> Get off me. You're not Italian enough. <laughs> You're only 90% Italian. He's a pizza supremacist. <laughs> Do you think Ezio would have just bummed everywhere if he got to meet Mussolini? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, also the guy who invented the pizza, too. <laughs> Wasn't that Ezio? Did, Ezio didn't invent pizza. Didn't Brotherhood, like, retcon that? Ezio invented coffee. I'm gonna be honest, he probably did. No, no, the, I thought the Ottomans or someone invented coffee. I thought Ezio just made it good. No, Ezio, he basically so, look, invented coffee. No, they made coffee, he colonized it. Okay, got it. They created it, he made it good. <laughs> got it. Just like a trend with Europe. Right, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> let's talk about something else. Oh, jeez. Wait, you had to get ready That's revisionist history. I'm surprised they weren't like, 50%, you didn't ride a horse. <laughs> you didn't ride a horse. 50%, you didn't play this game on a Tuesday. I am a little surprised how he... Can you look this up for us? Oh, how, did, how did Cesare Borgia get out? Like, how did he escape? Because I genuinely okay. want to know. Did we miss something? Did I... I don't think we missed anything. Is it because I didn't read something? Like, when certain things popped up? And it was like, oh, I don't want to do this thesis. So, like, oh, well, then you don't get to understand. <laughs> hey, come on. Um... In 1506, Micheletto bribed a prison guard at the Castillo, having had rope smuggled in for him. Cesare climbed down from his window and snuck past the main gate in his stolen guard uniform. But how so did Micheletto was the guy that accused him of incest, right? Yeah, why would that guy help him? I don't know. I guess I'm a little confused uh, that. I don't know. I guess Micheletto secretly remained loyal to Cesare and he planned for his master's escape. So basically the Pope had ordered him to be arrested, but Micheletto did that, but helped him escape later. Yes. This is a little annoying. There's is a... basically what the answer is. But again, I mean, Micheletto had the entire army. I don't know why Micheletto just didn't capture him. You mean like why he went, oh yeah, like why he went along with what the Pope said if he was going to go against it two years later? Yeah, and I mean, Micheletto, like when he went to go capture Cesare, he had like how many soldiers with him? He could have just been like, I'm not going to capture this guy. Right. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was so that Micheletto would remain in good favor with the current Pope. Maybe. In case Cesare lost. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like you want, sides. yeah, you wanted to keep his part if if possible. Yeah. Playing both sides of the uh, of the equation. People don't do that. What? Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. All right, let's do this. This is faster. This is actually the full sync. You have to complete the mission while only staying on fences. I look like Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did she do wrong? What? What the heck? I was like, my son is dying. <laughs> what is the deal here? Like, what are we even trying? Like, what are they trying to accomplish? They're just ruining this city. I guess so. Jeez. I think the answer is just they're trying to destroy the city. Well, they're all gonna die. Okay. A tough guy here. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, edgy. Ooh. I'm sorry, <laughs> did you not see my post on Reddit the other day? <laughs> Look at this. Nice. See? They're all cool. gonna die. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I was trying to trick shot that guy. <laughs> How did you okay. miss that? I don't know, because Leonardo didn't make a good enough gun for me, but he made, like, fucking B-52 bombers <laughs> for Cesare. <laughs> what if Leonardo made the first nuclear bomb? 
I'm surprised he didn't. Like, Chesser's like, hey, can you make me a, a weapon here? He's like, what about the atomic bomb? <laughs> I didn't want to help him. I really didn't. <laughs> I feel like in... These guys this, are surrendering. I don't care. They're murdering these people. Okay. Well, then what makes you better than Cesare? I guess that's true. I don't know who's murdering who, but I'm I'm cleansing the town. Oh, so you're like the evil German leader guy. <laughs> Got it. I'm just doing what I can <laughs> okay. here to help. <laughs> We're going to cleanse the town. Maybe those guys are the good guys. Security. Uh, I may or may not have killed a couple of the good guys. Well, then why don't you just go to the objective instead of, like, going on a Batman Begins slaughter here? Because I thought it was funny. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to the objective. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that those are the good guys. I think they are, too. Uh, I may or may not have killed a couple of them. Well, it. those guys are making fun of a person, so you could have killed them. Got it, okay. Climb the siege tower. This is barely a tower anymore, but okay. So what makes the Assassin's Creed oh. 3... I was going to say, I could answer this question, but then I thought it was about the color red. Oh, no. What makes the Assassin's Creed 3 uh, ending with Charles Lee so terrible, but this great? Because aren't you just basically chasing down Cesare? Kind of, yeah. That's true. But you're chasing down Charles Lee in 3. What if I don't find either of them great? Right, but the fan base does. Well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, like, I think people just excuse Brotherhood for stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if people specifically like the ending or not. I, I, I'm not sure. These guys aren't the good guys. Look, they're attacking me. Well, these guys are just a wolf in sheep's clothing. That makes sense. Does it? No, not really. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to give you a, a credit for what well, you said. Well, thank you. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. All right, let's head out of here. I am going for the objective, Mr. Right. Oh, I have to get to my P90X workout. You could have just stopped that penis. That's true. <laughs> okay. All right, let's just let these guys fight each other. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess, to me, I've never really liked... Chase sequences? Yeah. I've never liked chase sequences. I've also never really liked follow sequences. Like, I was fine with them in Assassin's Creed and maybe 2, because I, I get it, you're being an assassin and tracking someone. However, I don't need, like, five of them every sequence. Well, I agree with that, but why would they just go away later on? Like, the assassins just don't need to track people anymore? Right. Well, okay, what I, I guess what I meant to say is, I'm fine with them being in the games. I don't need five every sequence. Right. Well, I think so, that, that was mainly in one. Right. Two, there's a lot less of them. There is. Brotherhood, there's I will a few. say that. I feel like after Brotherhood, there's not that many. Randomly, it felt like in three, there were more again. Ah! Yeah, it did. Jeez. Maybe I was just tired of them, though. Maybe there weren't actually. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, and then chase sequences for bosses like this, I've never really been like a huge fan of. Um, I feel like the the ending to two is a little better. Not not the story, but like the where you go. Yeah. Um, because like it's just you going on one last assassination. Right. I like that. I understand, like, what they're going for here. Cesare! The walls surround you! There is nowhere to run! Come then, Ezio! But I don't know, like, I guess it's... Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Here you go. You can play your game. Here you go. <laughs> oh, nice, you knocked off some armor. This always happens with I this know. guy. Now all of a sudden he's gonna literally like you're gonna like kill him, but then he's gonna run away. And then there's a sequence ten or something. Oh no! <laughs> well, there is like a little bit of DLC to this game. Yeah. I will conquer all. I think we'll put the DLC itself in a separate playlist though, like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the disappearance of Da Vinci or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, because, I mean, it's like a full story. That's obviously Pocket not as sand. long as this, but it is a full story. <clears throat> this guy looks a lot dumb the less armor he has. <laughs> this guy reminds me of, like, just a bearded version of that rapist from Jeez. 2. What if he is? What if in canon it's the same person? Vienny or whatever, Vieri? Yeah, and he's just, like, angry because he didn't get to rape that woman. 
That's on brand for a European. <laughs> like my little colonizer humor. I just watched Black Panther. <laughs> Oh yeah? I watched Black Panther on opening night. What are you gonna do about it? This guy's gonna be nude when we're done. <laughs> and then like at the very end, it's like we cut off his like pubic hair. What if you what if you shoot him with your crossbow? We cut off his pubic we're like shaving his pubic hair. Wait, what is going on? I don't know. <laughs> oh we can just do this. <laughs> Let's get this guy. Oh, nice. We had, like, a Secret Service member. You're taking the bullet for yeah. him. Yeah. All right, now hit me. <laughs> this is, like, spec ops stuff. <laughs> Wait, what is this? What? Well, like, why are, playing the game. Why are people, like, jumping through the bullets? Come on. Come on, hit me. Come on. Come, come on. on, hit me. Hit me, hit me. Hit me. Why can't you shoot ever? <laughs> Can you not like shoot the, the crossbow? I have the longest reload of all time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can, how many armor pieces are we gonna take off? We're gonna take off his pants next, then his shirt. <laughs> and then we're gonna then we're gonna do to him what VNA wanted to do to Katarina. By the way, have I ever talked to you about this Twitter account? I think it's called Rare oh, Insults. No. Oh, I no. love this account. It's so funny. Okay. It's like insults against people that are like really insanely like original and like not something you'd see every day. Okay. One of them I loved was when you get dressed in the morning first and you're naked, what do you put on? <laughs> and it was like my shirt. And someone was like, Okay, I've Winnie the Pooh. That. I've seen that. <laughs> I was like dying. <laughs> I have seen that. That was hilarious. I'm telling you, rare insults is like one of the best <laughs> things on Twitter. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> Pocket sand. Oh. Oh, hey, nice. What do we have to say to him? Like, LOL, got him, bitch. <laughs> the throne was mine. Wanting something does not make it your right. What do you know? That a true leader empowers the people he rules. I will lead mankind into a new world. Can the sooner record you do no Requiescat in pace. You cannot kill me. No man can murder me! Then I leave you in the hands of fate. Wait, he did have a, I can't kill you, <laughs> I, know. I won't kill you, I, I'm just not going to save you moment. I like how he drops him from like a skyscraper, basically he's like, I'm going to leave your life in the hands of fate. It's like you're basically killing him. What if he like hit a tree, then he hit like K, and then he hit something else and he lived? And he, and lands, on, he, he lands on one of those like portico, like <laughs> overhang things that people always land on in movies. Ugh. <sighs> You cannot kill me! Why are we no seeing this whole thing again? I don't know. Me. What, did he have the apple? I don't understand why we're looking at the apple. Why are we getting, like, Metal Gear Solid philosophical here? <laughs> oh, we're back in the Vatican vault. Yeah. Did Borgia, did Rodrigo Borgia die? Yeah. Okay. That was the Pope. Yeah. Remember? That was Cesare Borgia there. Right. No, no, no. I, I didn't know if he died from the poisoning or... Yeah, he's dead. Okay. okay. <clears throat> that's good, because Ezio wouldn't have killed him. <laughs> I think he would have now, but yeah. <laughs> what if What if Rodrigo came back and Ezio was like, I'm going to let you live again? <laughs> ah, you'll be fine. Just promise to be good. <laughs> We've got it. The Coliseum. Let's go. We can be there before dawn. Wait, there was something about that door. I don't think I saw a handle. Let me run an analysis. Great. So we need some kind of futuristic key. It seems to open with a verbally triggered mechanism. I I've never seen anything like it. You mean it needs a password? Try humming Beethoven's fifth. Damn European power grid. Now we can't scan Ezio's memories to find the password.
We have to find that password. Ezio knows the answer. Problem is, he's dead. <laughs> 